something like a phenomena hungry like it was Ramadan check out our weight loss mascot that's DJ who kid <laughs> all right 8.33, Saturday, June 20th, Saturday, I can't even speak. So, I ate yesterday, my one meal refeed, and I topped out on real quick. Took a while to like digest and not feel so full from, but otherwise, body handled it. I just fine. Heading out to go motocross. Riding with my dad for a Father's Day slash belated birthday ride for the first time of the year. Trying to get some footage of that for y'all today. And then beyond that, foot fetishes. And then beyond that, we all know what time it is. It's time to weigh in. Now I really feel like I'm not going to have lost anything. Mainly for the fact that what I ate yesterday hasn't come out yet. So I feel like that's gonna be like, you know, a half a pound or some shit. Maybe a pound. Like that just is in my system. That isn't really weight, but it is weight, if it makes if that makes any sense. Uh oh. Yeah, one day eating. <laughs> <laughs> all right so like i said it's been about two days of just having to kind of give in to the situation once again the realities of like when you go on a dietary thing or a weight loss journey seemingly socially there's always kind of something to kind of pull you back in or make you have to do something which i mean you don't have to do it but at the same time it's like whatever what's two days and then i'll get back on it and go hard that said though after these two days uh and having gone dirt bike riding um i don't know if any of you you should know about it probably like if you've ever snowboarded or skateboarded or anything like that even dirt biking if you if you've done it if you do it really a lot of sports it's like when you don't use those muscles for a long long time and then the first time out you go use them and you just the next day two days three days are you are just crushed i feel like i'm 80 years old right now i can barely move i can hardly get up and down the stairs my quads are toast my calves are toast all my arms are toast 
my even my core like everything and that's the funniest shit too about i remember the whole time i was growing up with dirt biking was like everybody was like oh it's just you just sit down and twist the throttle like it's not hard it's like you have no idea how tiring and how physical the sport is it uses every single portion of your muscles like from top to bottom so it's crazy those who know know you can resonate um but that said though, yeah, today's just, I'm back up a few pounds, but I honestly feel like that's just like some water and like whatever foods inside of me that I haven't excreted yet essentially. So I'm not really too worried about it. We'll get right back to 217 and then keep going down. Um, that said though, because it's in the spirit of my birthday, Father's Day and motocross, I feel like at least a handful of you or some of you or whoever would be at some point point a little bit interesting because the other day I released a video with me riding dirt bikes and then uh, and you've known I've always said that I that I rode dirt bikes and rode motocross kind of my whole life since I was like 12 or whatever I used to race competitively and then it just became like a fun thing but um, I have a specific story time uh, relative to my birthday, Father's Day, and motocross, and kind of like one of the scariest days of my life, but one of the best days of my life in a sense. So, I suppose a simple backdrop, like a like a starter place, is that I got my first bike when I was 12, my first official bike, like an 80, so 80 cc. I got it for my birthday, and uh, it was amazing. But it was like an old bike. It was still really good condition, but it was an old bike. Like it wasn't brand spanking new or anything like that. But you know, my dad raced when, you know, he was young and into his 20s and he wanted me to get into it and he was getting back into it. So we started doing it. And in the beginning, I was such a fucking BIT, like PUS. Like I just, it, it, I was so like scared and nervous of, of just the power, the jumping, everything. But like anything, practice makes perfect. So over time, you know, I got, I got pretty good. Like I got initially quite good and when we started going racing i was kind of in the 80 class i was always up in the top five people i could never win though that was my whole thing is like i could just never get a win the best i ever did was second for my whole 80s the whole time i raced 80s the best i could ever do was second that was rare i used to get fourth fifth maybe some thirds here and there and you know when you go racing that's the whole point is like you want to win right or or and and like my dad is kind of of the competitive nature my dad's very like rough and tumble like man's man like don't never say die like don't quit like you know he's kind of that like standard hero-ish dad like he's he's a dad's dad like he's he's mowing the lawn he's working on the bikes he's working 12-hour shifts like he's never taken a day off you know what i mean that's just that's how my dad is he just does shit all the time and uh, he's always maintaining and keeping up and, and that's just his nature, that's who he is. So he, my, my dad is like one of those hero-ish type dads. So that's how this story comes to be. If we fast forward a bit, I get out of the 80 class and the next graduation from the 80 class is a 125cc and this is back in that time. So now it's different, now it's four stroke engines. It used to be two stroke engines, but now everybody rides four strokes, but whatever, that's really not here or there, but I get into 125s and like, once again, uh, I'm ripping. Like, it's like, I'm still up in the top positions when I'm racing, but like, uh, the one thing that was holding me back was my starts. My starts were shit. And like, when we used to go practice out at like, we would go to like gravel pits or whatever, or local kind of like backyard tracks. And uh, I would never practice starts. I would just go ride and take jumps and try to have fun and stuff. Cause to be honest, like racing, I liked racing, but I didn't love racing. Like I wasn't, it's not, I'm not really like by nature, like a super competitive person. Like I don't really care about taking the win in a sense, but at the same time it is gratifying. Like it does feel nice. So it's like, I'm kind of in between, but uh, anyways, it wasn't the end all be all for me to win the race. That being said though, I was like, I don't know if I was like naturally gifted enough or I just, you know, had practiced enough to be fast enough. Like, you know, I was always up in that top. So it's like, to win for me was plausible. It's just that I couldn't get a start. I just really couldn't start for shit. So uh, I remember I took like a week or two weeks to just, just practice starts when I go riding pretty much. Like I would spend like hours on starts. Eventually I dialed it in and uh, I was 16 years old. I think it was on my 125. I think it was my first or second year on the 125. 
and uh, it was Father's Day and my birthday weekend because my birthday falls on Father's Day sometimes. So June 18th, it's like sometimes it, it overlaps or me and my dad always kind of have, we just make it a package thing basically. But this weekend in specific, it was a Sunday racing. Motocross usually happens on a Sunday and uh, it was legitimately both Father's Day and my birthday. So. I'm stoked, it's my birthday, it's Father's Day, it's hype, I'm going racing, I'm, I'm hanging out with my dad, we're doing the thing that we love, and uh, I get in the first race of mine, which is like in motocross you have two motos, like you sign up for your class, and you can do multiple classes if you want, you can race up to like six motos a day if you want, that shit's insane to me, I used to only race four at a time, because like I said, it's exhausting, by the time you're done a race, it's like so tiring, and the other thing too is like, with motocross you get in from your race and it's not too long again till the next race comes up so it's like your recovery time is shit but anyways um i get in my first my first moto and i rip the whole shot because i've been practicing my starts and i'm fucking gone like the guys that usually were beating me and i was getting third or whatever or fourth it was just because they were getting starts and i couldn't you know catch them after that basically but in this particular instance, I got, I just got a good start and I was gone. Like, and I was like, I, I would say like 15 seconds ahead. Like I had a huge gap. And um, so I, you know, anybody who's ever ridden or raced motocross, like, you know, like, especially when you haven't won either and you've been wanting to win for so long, like when you're riding your bike, it's like, you're trying to not fuck up. You're like, don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Like, you, you're good, you're leading, like, everything's good, just keep it chill. Like, but you, but you're like, you know, you're like, oh no, but I gotta go, I gotta go. Like, I don't wanna get caught. Like, so I had to do that because I've messed that up in the past too. Like, I've been out front and then crash and everything because I got two in my head. So I just did it, I cruised it in, I won. It was amazing. Like, it's like, it's my birthday. Like, I've never fucking won a race like that and like a commanding in a commanding uh like demeanor and then also uh like it's father's day and my dad's just you know your dad wants it. like it's hockey dads soccer dads moto dads like they all want their kids to, to to be the best or do the thing right that's just a trending theme across parents and kids so my dad's hyped he's like he's like today is yours you got it. he's like if you just do what you did that race he's like these guys got nothing on you like you're gravy like no worries <laughs> So I'm chilling on the sidelines now and my dad's race is about to go and he rips off and he gets, uh, he's up in the front too, he was doing well, but he gets like two or three laps in and there's like what's called a double in motocross and it's like, it's a takeoff, like a gap and then a landing. So it's like, if you don't go far enough on it, you can smash into the backside of it and like crash or whatever and they're just like more dangerous than anything right if, if anybody watched supercross there's triple so it's like takeoff gap like you know what i mean so there's this double it's like i don't know back in the day we called it the big double but it's like it was like 45 or 50 feet like it wasn't that crazy but it was kind of big at the same time i guess for like the caliber of riders that we were at the time and uh <laughs> My dad, he, he catches a rut off the face and he his back end like swaps out and he just smashes down, crashes hard. Next thing I know, I see my dad as like a limp rag doll, just not moving and the bike down. And uh, that's the reality of motocross. It's like, it's very dangerous. If it just, things can go wrong at the drop of a hat. And it's not cause lack of skill. Well, sometimes it's cause lack of skill, but sometimes it's just freak shit. Like, it's just it's a matter of an inch this way or an inch this way and you get just fucked up so anyways i'm chilling on the sidelines i see people rush over to him to start trying to help him it's going it's like it's going time like it's like been like minutes like three four five minutes he's not moving nothing's happening so i run out in into the track to to go like you know get some sort of sense of what's going on and uh he's just snoring so hard and he it, like they got his helmet off or did it get, i don't know i think they got his helmet off he just, he's snoring so hard <laughs> and uh like it just sounds like he's choking on his tongue and that and then a dude that's like near his age that like we've i've known for whatever time like from racing and that 
he goes, he says to me, I don't know why he'd say this. I don't know why an adult would say this to like a 16 year old kid freaking out. Cause I was like freaked out. Uh, Cause I've just never seen my dad in that situation. Like I've never seen my dad like compromised or vulnerable or like, you know, like I've always seen him as the hero, like the person I look up to the, like the strong man that's gonna like, you know? So I saw him in like his very most vulnerable state of like, I don't know if this guy's gonna die right now, basically. So um, this dude says to me, he goes, he goes, I don't know, man, I've, I, this has happened to some friends of mine and they didn't wake up. And I'm like, oh, great. Like, thanks, man. Like, that's, that's, that's great. <laughs> Come on, man. So some time goes by with him just like snoring, choking on his tongue and eventually he kind he he came to but he was out for like a good while and like when you're out like that like your brain's getting like damaged and shit right so he was out for a good while and eventually he kind of came to but when he came to like he had no idea what like he you know what i mean like he was not he had like no ability to like actually communicate or anything it was just dazed and confused so he got loaded up taking an ambulance to the hospital and then they get another ambulance to come so that the racing can start again because you have to have like an ambulance on site for the racing to start again otherwise it's it's illegal right so instead of me going with him people were like no no, no don't worry like because i had like some other i have my sister and people there and stuff and they were like just don't worry like they're gonna take care of them just stay finish the day and then we'll figure it out because it's going to be hours before anything he might have to stay the night that's the thing when you knock yourself out that bad you, you might have to stay the night and this is like outside of our city like we we drive an hour two hours to this track so he went to a hospital not in our city he went into the next city they were just like just stay race your races da, 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 da. so that's what i'm saying on one hand it was like I got my win. It was like the best day ever. My dad was stoked. My dad was proud. It's Father's Day. It's birthday. Da da da. Next thing I know, it's like I'm pretty sure. Like I don't know if my dad's like dying right now or gonna die or some shit. And then uh, I'm just left to like be in a mystery and then have to go race this race. So I go race the race and I just I shit the bed so hard in the second moto. I I I I couldn't. My start was crap and then I crashed in the whoops and uh i was just uh i was just super distracted like i had no focus so i went from like a potential like perfect day of just like killing the comp and like getting my win to like getting one amazing win my dad situation there and then getting the worst finish like i i finished like like almost dead last like there was probably like 22 guys in the class and I finished 16th or something in the second moto. And I was just like, I didn't care though. Like I didn't care that that's what I finished. Cause ultimately my dad's well being was, and, and me caring about that was more worth than getting another moto win. Like I didn't even want to race after I wanted to just go to the hospital. Like that's the thing. But people said, no, no, stay back and just keep doing your day and then we'll figure it out at the end, which we eventually did. Like at the end of the day, we packed up and uh, went to the hospital and then checked with him. And yeah, he was he was all kinds of looped out and he did have to stay. I think he had to stay two days there until he was like cleared for release. So, yeah, I don't know. Just a quick uh quick story on today's video. Like I said, these videos are like everyday accountability, like. I just want to be accountable every day for like what I'm doing with this weight loss. And, 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 you know, this is the accountability of, you know, I ran into like a two day jam here with the, with these celebrations and, uh, I just figured I'd give you story time and, and so, and some, a little bit of backdrop. There's, there's, there's a lot more to know about my motocross background, I guess, but this is one of the stories that sticks out to me and like was, it will always be in my mind. And it's, really relative and fresh because it was just my birthday and just father's day and that was like a traumatic thing but also like almost like an amazing thing because i was like so stoked on that day too because you know it's nice to it's nice to win it's nice to to especially in a sport like motocross or whatever like it's like it's not team right so it's like it feels so individual it's like it's almost it's almost very ego